what is your favorite city for game? Name up to free. And again, you might go overboard with this, but uh, feel free to name more if you want to. I I think like there's people on this panel who be better who are better able to answer this question because they've traveled more than me. I've been through a, a good amount of Eastern Europe. Uh, I've been to Colombia and Mexico, and I've been to uh, well, that's basically it, honestly. Uh, so I haven't really traveled as much as I think some of the people on here. Uh, but I would say from what I've seen, if you like Europe, Poland was great when I was there. Uh, and now there's a whole bunch of hot Ukrainian girls there. So probably is probably is even better now with all those hot Ukrainian refugees. Uh, you can run U Ukrainian refugee game. And uh, I would say that for from what I've heard, again, I'm going off kind of uh, a little bit, but I've heard that Southeast Asia is epic. Uh, but from places I've been, Colombia is great. Colombia is amazing. Uh, yeah, you just like it's really hard to not get laid in Colombia. Uh, you have to be like really not know what you're doing. Um, it, it's kind of a trip too because I'll walk around Colombia and I'll have like so many more girls staring at me. Like that, that happens from time to time in Miami, but in Colombia, it's like way more common. So it uh, yeah, it, it, it's pretty it's pretty good for your ego, I would say. Uh, no, but like I think Colombia is really great. Uh, in terms of cities in Colombia, I like Medellin specifically because it's probably the safest one. Bogota, I got robbed at knife point, so probably not going to be going back there. Cali's a little bit of a shithole. Uh, Baron Key, I've never been to, so I can't comment on that. But yeah, Medellin is dope. Cool. Uh, yeah, guys, I've got to go uh, after this answer, so I'll keep it short. But basically, London is my favorite city. Um, it's not the best. I would say it's probably not the place you're going to go and find like the highest quality. But in terms of just pure enjoyment of walking around the city and seeing so many different areas and having like people from all over the world, you meet like a thousand different personality types, beautiful women from everywhere. I think London's the most fun. Um, but I'm absolutely hundred um, percent. Yeah, London yeah. is the best. I agree. Well done. Yeah. Well said. Yeah. Awesome. And there on that so note, many English girls guys, I, I, got, I got to dip out, um, got to go take care of stuff, but it's a pleasure to see you guys all again. And uh, yeah, good conversation as always, guys. Take care. Thanks for joining. Cheers, yeah. Catch you later. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye. 30, 30. Yeah, I got, I got unfortunately leave too. Uh, but yeah, thanks for hosting this, Ice. I thought it was a really good discussion. Shoot me a link once it's done and I'll upload it to my community tab. Nice, thanks. Good to see you guys. Good to see you, Alex and Marcus. I'll be seeing you soon. Yeah, Alex, man. I'm buying some carbon now, bro. Oh, so you're leaving me with the Australians? Oh, shit. I know. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, guys. Take it easy. All right. Take care. Bro. Hey, brother. <laughs> oh, no. Fire away, the guys. Australians What's the now? best city for game? Bro, that's uh, definitely not London. Yeah. Jesus. There are so many English girls in London. Don't tell me you like English girls. My girlfriend's an English girl. The thing is, so, so I've lived, <laughs> I've lived, in, I've lived and been based in London for a long time. But similar, like New York or Los Angeles, once you're once you're in the London scene and you're not going to public clubs, you go to the more like restaurant reservation type clubs. It's you know this like Rosie Huntington Whiteley type of girl, the the girl who was in Transformers. They're or the Kira Knightley types. They're they're everywhere, but they don't go out in central London, so you would just never see them. So it took me a while to start getting my uh, network going in London, going to more private parties and private dinners, and then it was just brilliant. And these girls, they're 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 like the, all the class of European, but all the fun of a British girl. They're so beautiful. They they drink, they do drugs, they stay up late, they shag. Some of my best girlfriends have been British girls. They've been they've been amazing. But obviously they keep to themselves and it's a very competitive environment in London, like New York or like Los Angeles. Once you're in, you're in and it's totally brilliant. But you know, I think Marcus, maybe if you're referencing like English girls that you would see here in Sydney, they're feral. They're feral like traveling girls or maybe Southeast Asia. I'm it talking more works. high society London, which is just it's, it's just disgusting. heaven. Yeah, to be fair, okay, I haven't, to be fair, I've spent like a couple of weeks in London, that's about it. Uh, I'm talking about, yeah, mostly, maybe I'm biased here, but mostly girls I've ever met when traveling. So through Europe, um, not many in Australia, to be fair, but like you go to places yeah. like uh, Budapest. If you're in Budapest, English girls everywhere, they are the most fucking annoying. And they, they don't know how to dress. They put way too much makeup on. They yeah, sound feral. stupid. Yeah. I'm sorry for yeah. anyone listening to this. If you're English, I'm so sorry. I'm sure there are some nice girls out there. Okay. Um, but for yeah. me, like uh, number one place biased is going to be Sydney. Um, just because I think Sydney is a place you can go out, you get a range of girls. Okay. So you've got the Australian girls that may be a little bit bratty and whatever, but you get like French girls, you get some Scandinavians every single night. 
There's a night you can go out where it's busy. Even when I was in Miami, like you try to go out on like a Tuesday night, it's really difficult to find a place that's like busy or like going off because it's so spread out. Here in Sydney, there's like one club on a Tuesday. Everyone goes there. It's good times. Uh, you can find a range of clubs. So if you want to like fucking techno and rave, you can. If you want to go to like a um, fucking really nice uh, like cocktail bar, you can. It's a really good mix. Um, and it's a really great place to live as well. So biased because I live here. Uh, but Sydney, second to me would be Poland. Okay. Alex already spoke about the Ukrainian refugee game. Ukrainian girls, mm. incredibly hot. Got to be like the hottest women in the fucking universe on average, right? And uh, they're very submissive. So they're like super sweet. They'll, you, you'll have sex. They'll go out and clean your house and like cook you dinner. And then like, it, it's a really sweet, very feminine. And then third. Um, and then they'll third, ask you for a billion dollars. No, that's actually not true. <laughs> so this is this was my, to be fair, this was my assumption too. Like, oh fuck, all these Ukrainians, especially like refugees, are gonna be like looking for someone to like take them to America or like in my case Australia, or like looking for someone to like pay. No, like yes, they will expect you to pay for like a meal or uh, drinks or something, but that's just like very cultural. Like that, that, I'm my parents are Croatian. Like if I go to Croatia, that's expected there, right? It's like the man pays. Like that's how it is. But no, like no Ukrainian girl has ever angled at money for me or any of my students. That happens way more in America, to be honest. <laughs> right? Like, so it's, yeah, it, it was kind of surprising for me too. But yeah, none of them are like these gold, they, they get these labels like gold diggers. I've never seen it once, even with my students. So um, yeah, really cool girls. And then number three, um, uh, maybe New York. I, I like American girls' attitudes, okay? I, I think they're a lot of fun. They're very witty. Uh, I like that banter and New York is again, a nice mix It's very busy. It's a cool city. Uh, I could be persuaded with maybe like Vegas or, you know, Bali or somewhere else, but uh, yeah, definitely number one, Sydney, number two, uh, Poland would be my go-tos. Mm, interesting. Well, I live Sam, in London. Far away. Mine's a little different. Mine's like social circle related. So for me, uh, Dubai is amazing. I love Dubai. Mm. You know, you got, you got, you got, uh, you know, people complain that there's 80% escorts, but uh, I did not find that. And because you're competing with people that have got money and they lead with money and that's all they've got. So if you have a personality plus you have money, you are in like, where are the, the girls commodity. from mostly just, just a range uh, of Europeans. All, all of like, yeah, you've got, um, you know, all of Russians, all of Eastern Europeans, uh, you've got Latinas there, you've got Arabic girls, you've got girls from Colombia. There's just every uh, English girls, German girls. And so what I found there is that when we go to a, a different place and the commodity is, is not so much money, it's like personality, like uh, Australia, you know, now you're competing against everyone that's got personality, that's fun, that's gregarious. And that's where that bratty humor lied, where you went when I went to Dubai the commodity is not money because everybody has it. So you being able to hold a conversation, you being funny, you being witty, you having a great time, which is just natural to Australians, was snapped up in a second. Like that's what they have because they're hanging out with a billionaire who can't even have a normal conversation. It's either about work mm. or business. They don't really care about girls. They just want it to be like ROI, ROI, ROI. Like, can I talk to her for three words and then get her into bed? That's their mentality. So when I was mm. there and I was enjoying it and you're on the yacht parties and everything, it's it, it was just, it was very, very easy. Secondly, uh, I'm going to have to say for, for LA and uh, Miami for a social circle, that's fantastic. For cold approach in particular, Sydney and Gold Coast and Brisbane are amazing. Uh, maybe not Gold Coast. Gold Coast is a social circle. Uh, Brisbane and Sydney are amazing for for cold approach, uh, as well as uh, back in the day, Los Angeles. Don't know what it's like now for cold approach. But uh, where, where I looked at, I looked at how can I leverage myself? And then then uh, so so I became a hot commodity. So the Aussie accent in America is just adds like two points to you straight away. So I kind of like leveraged who I was because being 5'7", you have to kind of like see where your points are and see where in the world that you're going to be perceived higher. So having an accent and dressing nice and having money, Dubai was good, LA was good, Miami was good. So then my three. Yeah, nice. Works of being um, Australian. For, yeah. What, what Marcus said about Sydney, for, for the guys listening to this channel who, you know, you just want to roll up to the club and meet a whole lot of people. Sydney is brilliant. You get all these young, adventurous European and North American girls traveling to Sydney all throughout the year. It's a big adventure and they're super 
I would say, promiscuous or willing to, to have fun and be adventurous intimately. So Sydney's really, really good in, in that sense. However, referencing what Sam said, when you start to get into the social circle with girls with higher standards and you need to kind of get into more private clubs or parties or events, New York and London are the best. They, they really are the best. And Dubai is really good. Los Angeles is really good when you're in. The sex in the city cities are the best. But for the people listening to this, the best couple of places to go, I guess Sam said it as well, Sam, uh, Sam Overton. Um, London, you can just arrive and go. Sydney, you can just arrive and go. But other really good value for effort is Vienna, Vienna in Austria. And Warsaw is pretty good for the for the reasons that we said. We're considering doing a four-week natural program there this year. But we, we've forgotten the, the crown jewel, Helsinki. Helsinki is the best. There's no men in the country. All the girls have blonde hair, perfect English. They're very sexually liberal, very pragmatic. And I remember like when we go to Helsinki, we, we, we would get laid every night if we don't get too drunk or don't screen properly. So Helsinki is it. It's kind of like the cheat code going to Helsinki. The only thing is it's a slightly smaller city and it's better to go in spring and summer rather than any other time of the year because they get into relationships. Um, and places like Koh Samui or Bali are good because there's a big turnover. But yeah, I think we're all painting a picture. You're getting the gist now. Mm. Yeah, actually, that's a good. I forgot about Scandinavia. Uh, good point. That the girls there. I was talking about hot girls before. Uh, I I got I got sidetracked by the hot Ukrainians. But yeah, Scandinavians. It's yeah, good place. Helsinki, nice. Um, I also like. Uh, uh, I was in Sweden. It was way too long ago when I was in Sweden, but I really enjoyed it there. So yeah, I need to head back. Yeah, I Probably guess the, you guys the haven't said thing. Antarctica. <laughs> There are no Antarctica. cities. Yeah, there's some, there's some, in there's Antarctica. more girls in Antarctica. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> there are no cities there. It doesn't count. Uh, I, I can't really add too much to the conversation because I, I haven't been to Asia. I haven't been to Australia. Um, I haven't been to Colombia, but I have been to other countries in South America. But from the countries I have been to, uh, I did move to London. Uh quite a few years back and I, I'm there right now. And uh, yeah, Alex was absolutely right in London. You can just jump in and go because first few days, my first week I had, um, I was already dating multiple women. It was super quick. And, um, and I, that was only through Tinder and nightclubs. Uh, I, I was never a day gamer or anything like that. So I didn't put much effort into it, but it was already paying off very quickly. Um, London is good. It's a big, 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 big city, similar population size to New York, um, but it's very international. So of the women that I ended up dating throughout the time, uh, I, of course, met my wife in London. She was from Peru. Um, and I dated a lot of French girls, some English girls, Americans that also happened to be in London, um, Spanish, Japanese, South Korean, you name it, even women from countries. And bear in mind, I'm very good at geography, even countries that I never heard of. But bear in mind, I'm good at geography. I'm not mm -hmm. one of those Americans who do, who has never who thinks Africa is a fucking country or something. Um, mm -hmm. I'm very good at geography, but even countries I never heard of. Um, they were there. I even met a North Korean in London, or so she claims. Uh, <laughs> but there yeah. you go. 